Welcome back to our little series on assistance exercises. Today we're going to talk about the dips. These are sometimes referred to as parallel bar dips. I have a set of bars here in the gym that I had made. They're at an angle and that little bit of pronation makes the exercise quite a bit easier on your uh, elbows and shoulders. But we're not going to illustrate it because you don't have access to this extremely important piece of equipment. We're just going to show you the standard parallel bar dip. And you'll notice that I've got the thing set up inside the rack right here. This rack has been specifically designed to do dips inside of, among other things. The depth of this rack is 22 inches. And if you take a barbell and put one on either side of the pins, this thing works beautifully as a dip station. And dips are primarily a bench press assistance type exercise. They can be done heavy with, with uh, a dip belt and plates hanging from around your waist to add resistance to the movement. They can be done for high reps for people who aren't very strong with just body weight. But the exercise itself is, is fairly useful if you are one of the people for whom the dip does not aggravate the shoulders. If your shoulders are bothered by dips, don't do them. And a lot of people fall into that category. If you've already got a rotator cuff problem, don't do dips. But for young, healthy people like our Nordic God friend here, Chase Lindley, dips are a very excellent assistance exercise and he's gonna show you how they're done. Now Chase is gonna be very sure to push the bars out into the sides of the rack so that the things do not tend to roll. You don't want these bars to roll either inward or outward during the set. And if you shove them out into a secure position, the whole set can be done safely. Now he's going to jump up into a position of lockout. His elbows are straight and he's going to do a set of eight reps. Notice that he's lowering his shoulder to a position below the top of his elbow. This may be even a little deep, but this is a full range of motion dip. Don't do partials on dips any more than you do partials for anything else. His feet are out of the way due to his bent knees, and he's careful to lock out each rep all the way at the top. And on the completion of the set, he just sets himself back down. Notice that the height of the bars has been chosen so that he doesn't have far to jump up into the lockout start position. And when he sets himself down, he doesn't jam his elbows and shoulders up. So this height is oh, about middle of his waist, about halfway between the bottom of his sternum and his navel. Somewhere in there is a good position in which to position these dips. Dips using this equipment are very safe. Everybody's got a rack, everybody's got two barbells, and this works just fine for dips. If you're in a jam, here's a little trick. You can even use two folding chairs. Notice that I've turned these in so that there's a little bit of an angle. You get stuck at work some night. You need something fun to do. Do your dips in between chairs. They don't even have to be the same color. The only thing about dips, you've got to be sure, and I'm not joking about this. If your shoulders are delicate, if you've got a rotator cuff problem, be very, very careful doing these things or don't do them at all. But if Dips can work for you. They're an excellent assistance exercise for the press and the bench press. Thanks for watching.